What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Punting for the People. We are here right now at Maximile Dresden. One of the best burger places I had last season. Basically, they do massive, massive meals for a really good price. We are here right now. It's me, Marianne, and Tim. <laughs> me and Tim just actually ordered things that we never had before. So I've heard about it while I've been here. There's obviously Radler, but I've heard about something called Diesel. Australians or English, it's not fuel, it's a drink. It's actually a mixture of cola and beer. And I don't know how good it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try it. It kind of just tastes like flat beer. Like it's definitely not as heavy as a normal beer, but you don't get any of that cola taste, which is surprising. I thought the cola would be more prominent, but it's definitely down my alley, I don't mind it um, more than like a regular beer because I'm a massive beer drinker. <clears throat> Not bad. And then my man Tim over here has got the banana vice. Yeah, that is banana vice. Uh, so it's basically a white beer with uh, like a banana nectar or yeah. a juice of banana in it. And Tim has actually tried it. Tell us what you thought. Well, I am a heavy beer drinker. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like the sweetness to it. It's kind of cool and different. Yeah. I actually had one of those last year with our defensive end, Niall, who is at Potsdam, who you saw in an earlier vlog. He ordered one one day when we were out. I didn't mind it, it was very, very sweet, which is down my alley. I love sweet things and I'm not a heavy beer drinker. So, depending on your taste and what you're into, Maybe have a go of a banana bison or a diesel. Holy Jesus. How cute is that? How cute that little thing? I'll just have the salad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a baked potato? <laughs> okay, so like I said, I wasn't kidding around. This thing's huge, 30 centimeters huge. Like, look at this thing. Look at my hand, or an XL glove. <laughs> it makes the actual steak knife look like an envelope opener. This is ridiculous. How many slices of cheese? Hold on, I wanna open this thing up. There's literally like a pound of lettuce on this thing and probably like eight slices of cheese. Coach Ulls or Coach Eric or Coach Cruz, if you watch my vlogs, I'm really sorry, but I haven't eaten all day, so I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> For those of you that know me, know I'm a big eater, and I'm about two thirds through this thing and it's ridiculous. <laughs> This has anything to do with hunger anymore, more is just my will to finish. So I'm gonna try my best to finish the rest of this and see how we go. We tried. Well, in my defense, I did have a heart attack on the third slice. <laughs> <laughs> separates the men from the boys or the gluttonous from the normal people and uh <laughs> how is your one potato awesome <laughs> 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 Salad doesn't count. I hate myself for doing this, but 
when in Rome or when in Dresden. You gotta do it. Okay, this is really cool. Uh, I finished, and right after I finished, the waitress came up and said, We've got a really big currywurst they want to show me, so they bring it out right now. That's currywurst. That's actually a German national dish, I guess. It's something that's very popular here. Um, it's basically like a sausage. They have it like a ketchupy kind of sauce and then put like a curry powder on the top of it. I haven't actually had it since I've been here, but from what I've been told, it's it's a love hate kind of thing. Another day in Dresden. Another vlog down. Thank you very much to Maximile Dresden for the great food. And the great service if you're watching uh we'll probably be back again later in the season but for now we will go to train until hamburg this weekend and i'll be back soon with another vlog see you later